This from a publication by the For the People radio network who gave De Palma and gang a big jump into the world of publicity. Yeah. New technology breakthrough does not use solar, wind, hydro, or any fuel. The end machine space powered was better earlier. Rotation of a magnetized gyroscope. The N machine. Does electricity have a sexuality? <laughs> and this should grab your attention from one of India's most popular magazines, India Today, which some have likened to Time magazine. This article was printed in the technology section of India Today's December 31st, 1987 edition, page 102. Energy from space and an engineer's invention excites interest in a tiny room in a Bombay suburb, an electrical engineer works on a machine that seems to have been conceived in a sci-fi book, a generator which can ostensibly produce electricity from nothing. But the machine's creator, Paramahamsa Tiwari, 51, is not an eccentric inventor from one of Sukumar Frey's fantastic tales. He is a senior engineer with the Department of Atomic Energy's Nuclear Power Corporation. This is a photocopy enlargement of an original photograph given to Bruce De Palma in Italy, uh, given to him by Paramahamsa Tiwari of India. This is a picture of his double rotor N machine. Uh, this picture really only allows you to see uh, one rotor very caref very uh, clearly, but the other is uh, is underneath a, a keeper there, which is the large blue uh, piece. Here is another view of Paramahamsa Tiwari's N machine space power generator. Uh, in this case, the high current output, low voltage, is being fed into an electrolytic cell to electrolyze hydrogen and oxygen out of water. P. Tiwari, Chief Project Engineer, Nuclear Power Corporation of India. Paramahamsa Tiwari is working on the Kaiga Atomic Reactor Project in Kodiba, Karwar, Karnataka, India. I believe this is on the west coast of India, several hundred kilometers south of Bombay. His facsimile number is 08382. Power Space 1999, a Japanese publication in which the end machine is covered. Here we show in typical Japanese style that a present day generator with rotational motion in one direction will not light unless the circuit is closed, which is demonstrated in the second part of the diagram. Once the circuit is closed and the light bulb lights, you'll see that a reverse torque or a reverse force 
is developed along the shaft as uh, delineated by the two oppositely rotating uh, arrows on the shaft and then you finally come to the third part of the diagram which is not a present day conventional generator but indeed an end machine which operates very well into a short circuit with uh, uh, none of the associated reverse torque or what's known technically as back EMF back torque or back drag the Japanese even took a video image and put it in this magazine. This is Bruce De Palma demonstrating his prototype for the self-running electric engine. This is an historical piece, the first, shall we say, official diagram of the end machine drawn on the 24th of March 1978 by Bruce De Palma himself. The, uh, the artwork here is simple yet ominous in its significance. As mentioned in the foregoing video, Dr. Paramasana Tawari of India is developing an application of the end machine and this will be the subject of a forthcoming video. The second video of this De Palma end machine set is a radio talk show with Bruce De Palma discussing his theories, inventions and philosophies and is available for $20 from Rainbow Astro, PO Box 202, Bangalore, New South Wales, 2479, Australia. Thank you. 